Okay, that's the first 30 minutes, and um, which would have been part four. This would be, oh no, this is a brand new chapter. It's not a part. That was part one now, because now I got to start a part two. I'll pick, I'm going to reread that paragraph. A guilt offering is a sacrifice. It was a sink from the biblical sin offering. The transgressor furnished an unblemished ram for sacrifice at the temple in Jerusalem, as well, in, as well as in cases of sins against holy items. I think I call it destroying uh, religious uh, objects. Theft, the commission of fraud or false oaths, with monetary compensation to the victims for their loss, plus a markup of 20% of the value to cover the priest's earnings. What would that be for? Why would Isaiah 53? And, and of course, the people of the Holocaust were not unblemished. They, they can't, just like Jesus can't be in 53, the murder of the Holocaust cannot be in Leviticus as unblemished rams. And, and, and the kilns of the death camps well, the Jewish bodies were thrown, alive or dead, just depending on how many bullets they had handy, um, are not altars of God. And they're certainly not at the temple, but we don't have that anyway. And that's as much his fault as anybody. He's got 66,000 followers. He can't tell them. We have to build the temple. We could be facing utter destruction the way I interpret Malachi 3. But the world's going to love us. Forget about it. It's okay. No temple. That's okay. The world's going to exalt us. Love the Jew. Uh-huh. Messianic air upon us. Uh-huh. <laughs> Be sure he uh, watches this with somebody out there. Not all of them where I mention him. A lot of people have looked at him. Literally thousands. Have seen me, have seen his 5310 and my commentary on it. The Jewish people murdering the Holocaust had not made any intentional transgressions against Hitler, who I presume offered them, and did not make monetary compensation to Hitler if they did. It is the people Israel that makes themselves. An offering for guilt in Rabbi Singer analysis, though he seems to be saying Hitler made a guilt offering to God of blemish rams to all the Jewish people. Remember, he said as his portion, he got the lampshades with the skins of Jews. Now, the portion is the many made righteous in the first six verses that grows into a multitude. If the people Israel are the righteous servant, how are they also the animal to be sacrificed as a guilt offering? I mean, literally, nothing about his commentary makes any sense at all. I, seems like a reasonably intelligent man. Acts like he knows everything. And to me, he's about this big. Prophet of God. Rabbi Simon. Rabbis in jail and red. It's just, you know, it's night and day different. I was taught by God. So, and it's his book, and he dictated that book to me. He's very familiar with it, everything in it, every word, in fact. Absolute knowledge, absolute power, and he is his creation. Definition of God from him. I can attest to that power. Rabbi Singer says, The guilt offering is a fire offering in which all the parts are to go up in smoke and the high belongs to the one making the offering. I mentioned before that during the Holocaust, Hitler not only burned Jews in the ovens of Auschwitz, but he also used their skin as lampshades and their hair as stuffing for pillows. He sacrificed these people on the altars of ovens and kept their hides as his portion. If you're going to use Leviticus, Mr. Sanger, 
you ought to at least try to abide by its uh, words. Adding to and taking from. This is God's book. He wrote the entirety of it. She think he likes it? You think there's a reason he told you not to tamper with it? It's because of this. This kind of garbage that can't possibly come out. And garbage it is. Okay, Isaiah 53, 12. Also says God's righteous servant is exposed to death. He's exposed to death by disease from an affliction by God. God chose to crush him with disease, but is given long life to make the many righteous. Exposed to death is near death. Though he does not die as the victims of the Holocaust did, as Jesus did. God created an animal, animal sacrificial atonement worship system of laws for a primitive, illiterate people to learn what sin, repentance, atonement, and worship are, and to cook their food. <laughs> that was about as important as anything. Oh, they were still having problems with it in the days of King Solomon. <laughs> He commanded the Jewish people not to sacrifice their children and told them he no longer wanted their sacrifices through his prophet. The lessons of this teaching tool of the animal atonement worship sacrificial laws of the Torah were concluded, Tobias Sanger. God never says these laws are to be applied to human beings substituted for animals. They just flat out just disobeys God, this Toby is saying. I am his representation, and he is right here governing what comes from my mouth. You think about who's hot and angry at you. You better get a video out there saying 53 is not Isaiah, is not Israel, is what you better get done. And again, I told God, I don't think you have it in you. Too pompous, too arrogant, too ignorant. A rabbi. The part of verse 10, Isaiah 53, quote, that if he made himself an offering for guilt, close quote, is interpreted by Rabbi Singer to be actually, literally, translated as guilt offering. And that a guilt offering is defined in Leviticus chapter 7. The translation of the Hebrew Bible by the Jewish Publication Society was select academic professors, linguistic professionals, for the task who spent 30 years of their lives creating a completely new English translation, not one that went to Greek. Not one that was tampered or uh, uh, tried to be fixed up to make the Hebrew, the English better. You know, you find the one that's got the quotes for Isaiah 52, 13 through 15, Isaiah 53, 1 through 6. That's what you look for, and none of them have it. It affects, it, I tell you, it affects Jews from Judaism and their exaltate, use of the word exalt. Okay, who, creating a completely new English translation, translate the Hebrew of the Leningrad Codex to be, made himself an offering for a guilt. Nothing about a guilt offering. A righteous servant is a man, not an animal. When an interpretation conflicts with God's teachings and laws, you look to, to what is wrong with the interpretation. Not to what is wrong with God's teachings and laws, adding to them or taking from them. Rabbi Singer's interpretation does not fit Isaiah 53.10. Who receives a long life? Is it, not the, it is not the murder of the Jewish people, and it is not Hitler. No one. Would God accept an animal sacrifice of blemished humans from the Gentile Hitler? Of course not. 
were the victims of the Holocaust crushed with disease that if they made themselves an offering for guilt, they would receive long life and see their children? No. Are the six million murdered Jews of the Holocaust all the Jewish people gathered as one man? Absolutely not. Had they been, we'd have no Jews in the world. <laughs> and I'm counting about 21 million right now. Seven in Israel, seven in America, seven in Europe and Britain. Are the six million murdered Jews of the Holocaust, all the Jewish people gathered as one man? No. Did God murder six million Jews? No. Have the Jewish people as one man made the many and a multitude righteous? The six million murdered in the Holocaust did not. Again, I don't know if Hitler's the righteous servant or what he's saying is it's Israel. So all these guilt offerings that don't eat, it's not one man. Get, just go figure. Again, an absurdity. Absurdity. The people Israel, the Jewish people gathered as one man Israel, are not God's righteous servant. I am. I fit the verse. I'm the only one. That's his 5310. You've heard mine. I was crushed with this disease. Had lung cancer. Maybe untreatable. Stage four. Maybe a month to live. Never seen a doctor since, except for some x-rays. Here recently. But given long life, 22 years ago when the planes hit New York, now, that's how you describe 53, you comment on 5310. Okay, that's it for part two of chapter 23. I'll be picking up with Jews for Judaism, basically. <laughs> this is the Rise of Servant Moshe versus Israel in Isaiah 53, parentheses, exaltation, close parentheses.